Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, it is Charles Pastures, and right at this moment, I'm at uh, Mr. Anatol Kasaija's amazing farm, and uh, right now we're looking at a very successful feedlot, and um, I want him to take us through the specifics. Uh, we're basically going to look at the basics on how to put up a, a very nice feedlot, a very simple one. We're going to look at how to, 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 to add value to feeds. Uh, we look at the special feeds you need for a feedlot, how you approach it, you know, things like that. Uh, we are going to be looking at specifically uh, having a successful feedlot unit um, and, uh, and, and then of course we also look at how much you need to invest and uh, how really far do you go with the investment. Uh, Mr. Kasaija, yes, uh, yes. allow me to uh, give my thanks so, and uh, appreciate the work that you've done here, okay? Um, right now, I can see this structure right here, so, this space. Mm. So you told me it is the preparing uh, space, structure, yes. kind of. Yes. So you were talking of uh, when you bring them in, this is where the, it is the waiting area. Exactly, yeah. So you're monitoring them. If, if, if one has any sickness or whatever, you monitor them, and you don't want them to kind of infect the ones that are already in the field. Right, right. Please explain uh, further. Yeah, thanks so much, Charles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just like uh, you already said it. I, we wanted just to keep it very simple, yeah, so that even for any uh, farmer outside there, yes, would come and do it, yeah, yes, and would come and say that it is really possible, yes. And just like uh, uh, I told you, we do offload from the other farm. That is uh, our offloading and loading ram, yeah. Yes, please. And just like you see it there, it is made from local materials. And yeah. uh, when we offload, we have just got in the bridge, yeah? Uh, this is our waiting area. Yeah? Yes, yes. And uh, here, we have to keep this bridge for some time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. for uh, a period of five to ten days. Yeah? Yes, please. And when, while they're here, we are monitoring them. Yeah? Yeah. Because you never know, when we go outside there for sourcing, there could be some breeds which are infected and we don't want to cause confusion yeah. to these others which are around here. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. And just like we have to feed them from here, and I've just told you, this is a new system. Yeah? Yeah. We have just started, we are not a, a month old here, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. but we have started and uh, we want also to introduce some feeding troughs here, mm -hmm. so that when the breeds are here, we keep them here for some time, they feed and drink from this point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And we need also to uh, spray them from the trash. That's mm -hmm. the trash. Mm -hmm. Made yeah. from local materials. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. And basically, these were eucalyptus. Uh, we got them from here. What yeah. We're buying the nails. Yeah. Yeah. From your own plantation. Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. So we need to spray them here. And just like I already told you some time back, we in, uh, we will have to weigh uh, the breeds, yeah? Exactly. And that point there mm -hmm. is practically set for a weighing uh, scale, yeah? Yes, yes. Because we need to ascertain yeah. the weights of uh, these breeds by the time we bring them in. Yeah, yeah. So by so, the time you introduce them. Exactly. Yes. We need to ascertain yes. their weights. Yes. Yeah. So we keep on monitoring on a weekly basis mm -hmm. because this is business, yeah? Yes, please. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. So we wait, we spray them from here, then after five to ten days, we introduce them to the, the feeding uh, area mm -hmm. where we have uh, uh, this is a feed lot. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's a and feed lot. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And just like I told you, yeah. we just want to keep it very simple. You are seeing the feeding traps, mm -hmm. these are made from uh, local materials, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And uh, you can see these members are busy enjoying it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that I agree. And uh, <laughs> Absolutely. They, they, get, uh, they adopt, yeah? yeah? Because we source them from uh, areas where they have been uh, feeding on Australia, yeah? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. from here, we introduce them into a system mm -hmm. where they feed from here. Yes, from please. Here. Yeah, yeah. But within a period of... Uh, Two to three days, they mm. have completely adopted the system. Yes, please. Yeah? And as you can see, we have uh, we have uh, our feeds here. Yes. Uh, they are made out of silage. Yes. 
And then we have napia, of course, uh, sugar napia. Exactly, as forage. Uh, as right? forage. Yes. And, uh, yes. We have added value also mm. because there's some rum and uh, some soya bean. Yes. Much as we put them in a small quantity, mm. because as business we need to value what you're doing. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. All you are to go to the next step. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. So right there, the other point, mm. you will find that we have also feeding troughs, mm. which are made of, uh, 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 of plastic, plastic materials. Yes, please, yes. Yeah, but just like I said, for simplicity, simplicity, exactly. For the rest of our farmers, they have to see that they can copy this, mm -hmm. they can be and replicate it on their farm. Yes, yeah. please. So we need to keep it very simple. Thank you so much. Thank so. you so much. That is really amazing. Now, this is what I'm always talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Simplicity. Um, previously, we were discussing about the, the, the inferiority complex that normally, you know, comes up, you know, with most farmers. Uh, they look at these farmers who have made it, like who are there already, you know, and they think, uh, when, when they think about, uh, you know, gaining or doing, making farming a business, they think about that. They relate it to that. No way. So, I am here to tell you that you can as well do something as simple as this. Okay, you don't have to go high end, you know, looking at all this sophisticated material you put up, you crush, you want the bars to be metallic and all those things. Okay, you need to have something simple, something as simple as this. So, normally I always tell my farmers that it is the knowledge that you need. Okay, it's the knowledge that you need. So, I mean, you don't have to start, okay, for example, you don't need all these animals. You just need like five, if you can manage five, okay? So I think this is a very amazing thing. When you look at the feed troughs, these ones are made of wood. Simple wood that you can get on your farm. Okay? Now, the feeds, this is what we call a complete TMR. Simply made. He did not use a TMR mixer. He did not use anything. Okay? He just makes it. And as you can see, the animals um, are enjoying. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, we are trying to achieve... Um, we're trying to achieve optimal weight. We want the animals to gain weight. We are doing what we call fattening, okay? So these animals are introduced uh, in a feedlot system where they are going to be feeding uh, in one place. Um, of course, some of the feeds are going to be ad libitum and um, uh, we are also going to minimize movement because now when they move a lot in the field, uh, they, they, will, they will basically um, be jimmy and of course they will lose weight but now they're not moving they are eating and resting okay so ladies and gentlemen i think this is something that we can copy and also replicate uh, our farms um we have seen the structures the structures are amazing made from timber from his own plantation okay most of us have these forest forests that we want to of course harvest and sell to these other guys that are going to use them for whatever reason but then of course we have the passion of doing farming so I think we can really pick a leaf from Mr. Kasaijas and uh, we really uh, gain from uh, farming, okay? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will catch you in the next episode.